today we got a, a lovely guest. In just a moment, uh, just one of my one of my favorite guests uh, to talk to. J yeah. j just a delightful, incredibly talented, and uh, really beautifully strange in her own way. Aubrey Plaza is yeah. about here in just a moment. She's in that new White Lotus. Beautifully strange. That's a good yeah, beautifully strange White Lotus. And then uh, the founder of the 1619 Project, Nicole Hannah Jones, will be out here a little bit. Got a new book on it. That's a, that's a good conversation. That's a good conversation. Yeah. And then I, we got to keep going here because we record this thing. Uh, what is it talking? We're talking six o'clock right now. I got to get over and for the opening of the new uh, the Geffen Hall, Lincoln Center. Ooh. Going over there tonight. That's what's up. I'm introducing somebody on stage. I heard. Uh, Lynn Manuel, somebody or other. And yeah. Now, <laughs> folks, I spend most of my time right over there ruminating on the day's biggest stories, collecting my thoughts into the most topical passages that explore the landscape of human relationships in the modern era with influences from Dostoevsky, Turgenev, and Thoreau to compose for you the pithy yet timeless Virginia Woolf masterpiece that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, just sometimes, folks, I emerge from a sewer grate under an abandoned newsstand, lick a glue stick, and rip whatever words anger me most out of some discarded issues of Consumer Reports, then slap them together on a garbage lid to present the Tunnel Dweller's ransom note of news that is my segment. Right there. That is, that's American history right there. Meanwhile, earlier this week, Apple's iMessage and FaceTime were down for some users who complained about not being able to send and receive text messages or place FaceTime calls. Oh, no! Without text or FaceTime, how are they supposed to communicate using their phone? <laughs> Meanwhile... Meanwhile, a new study found that your cat recognizes the special way you talk to it. So, cat owners, when you tell your cat to stop scratching the new silk pillows, but he keeps doing it, it's not because he can't hear you. It's because he hates you. Yes, he does. <laughs> He's going to eat your eyeballs when you die. He's going to eat your eyeballs when you die. <laughs> meow, meow, eat your eyeballs. <laughs> Meanwhile, a study found that people have better things to do than commute. Most participants said they would rather be spending time with family or exercising, <laughs> while the most honest participants said they'd rather spend their days saying they're going to exercise than sit on the couch watching Below Deck Med in running shorts. <laughs> Meanwhile, in spreadable news, despite the looming butter shortage, the usage of fancy butter boards is soaring which is taking a stick of butter and spreading it on a charcuterie board, then adding whatever you want. <laughs> Notes to my loved ones. <laughs> if you ever see me spreading an entire stick of butter on a board, and I'm about to eat it, <laughs> what I want is Prozac. Meanwhile, we just got pictures from Nikon's annual Small World Competition, a contest for tiny pictures of tiny things. And this year's batch is pretty wild. Here's a zebrafish photographed a mere 72 hours into its development, capturing the exact moment that it realized its whole family went to Paris without it. Meanwhile, a Swedish zoo closed when a king cobra escaped its exhibit. I would love to have heard that announcement. Okay, folks, no reason to panic, but the zoo is closing. Just some routine maintenance, repairs. There's a king cobra on the loose. <laughs> Cleaning, inventory, catching the cobra, servicing equipment. Don't get bitten by the cobra. Sorry, I gotta go. Here comes the cobra. <laughs> now... Every once in a while, there's a bit of a story behind how we handle a story here at The Late Show. When that happens, I like to tell you about it in my Meanwhile sub-segment, Behind the Scenes While. <laughs> you see, that story about the snake loose in Sweden I just talked about, initially, my writer-producer, Mike Brum, that's Mike right there, he's a hell of a guy, Mike had the idea that we take a song by the Swedish band ABBA and change their lyrics to be about this escaped snake. <laughs> so... Mike did, like, a, a trial version of a video where he used his own voice for, uh, like, a scratch track, a quick, 
proof of concept. Sometimes that works, and then the band over there does a beautiful version of it, and sometimes it doesn't work, and you just never get to see or hear it. But this time, it so very did not work. <laughs> that, with Mike's permission, I'm gonna show it to you now. <laughs> Jim? Can bite, you can die running away for your life. Oh, see that snake take cover, put in the cobra snake. You visit, and the lights are low. Looking up for a slimy foe. Now, we didn't cut away from that song in the middle. <laughs> we did not cut away from that song in the middle. That's as far as he got. <laughs> he said, you want me to finish it? I said... <laughs> I said no.